Guys, I decided to make one experiment with this brass. Okay, I be dissolving and participating with aluminum. I think I supposed to get like a copper. Okay, because zinc is a little bit more active and aluminum participates first participates copper then supposed to participate uh, zinc but zinc be dissolving in this hydrochloric acid what we have inside so i supposed to get just a copper i want to prove it how i do my gold recovery and uh, gold recovery why i using aluminum because of that reason that i getting clean gold everything useless metals like brass tin and everything else is not participate if the participate it dissolves in hydrochloric acid which one is inside so right now i'll be dissolving and we'll see how everything works and i be doing experiment with electricity so right now i be first dissolve this one one bullet and we'll see how everything works and then i try to use electricity to do uh, copper recovery so if everything works so we be doing the same thing with the gold okay so let's start uh, this experiment so i adding this one inside the beaker adding some potassium nitrite like a spoon because this is a lot one spoon and by adding hydrochloric acid okay and we will see how everything works okay so i'm putting like 250 milliliters I'm putting on the heat everything like a gold but uh, this is experiment i want to figure out how to recover that gold so i'll be using like a sample of copper and uh, and useless metals like zinc and everything else what is in that brass if everything works like i thinking then we be doing the same thing with the uh, gold okay let's start by putting heater on and Let's Everybody wait. knows that copper not dissolves in hydrochloric acid. So right now, hydrochloric acid and potassium nitrite is on the bottom. And I put on the heat, and when heat starts making aqua regia, this uh, solution starts attacking the brass and start dissolving. And we will see how everything works, okay? And uh, this is experiment if you don't like it don't watch but this is for future gold recovery i need to get a little bit more information this is a founded bullets <laughs> in the shooting range and uh, this is a perfect thing to do experiment don't waste the gold so right now you see it's a cold and brass is not even try show me any signs of the solution get hot and look this started dissolving okay but solution is yellow okay so let's see what's happen next when is everything be finished to make reaction faster i add little bit more those shells we'll see i want to saturate this solution have a lot of copper and zinc inside this solution and then we start experiment so right now so far solution is still yellow strange things it's supposed to be getting blue or something green but it's still the yellow solution getting dark yellow or not even greenish already but still yellow and we decide i decided to make a Steinus chloride test. <laughs> Maybe we have gold here. Okay, let's see. Solution with the copper. When I putting some stuff, is some kind of precipitate black. But after 
is become clear. See? Became clean. No gold, guys. <laughs> Just experiment. It became like dark, dark, dark. And uh, reaction stopped because potassium nitrate maybe finish. And I decided take away this juice, what I needed. Everything else I don't need it. Hot. Need to turn off this heater. And uh, we can start doing experiment. So let's try to put it in. It's like dark. So why I use brass? Because of that, got gold don't dissolve in hydrochloric acid. And when we making aqua regia and dissolving all those our gold stuff, we getting exactly the same situation. Okay. Okay. See the brass became copper color because zinc it dissolves in this solution. Uh, copper stop dissolving even as soon as potassium nitrate stop working no more nitric acid aqua regia stop reaction stop because um, and uh, hydrochloric can pen penetrate this copper layer and dissolve continue everything so in this case now i don't need any more those ones we done now what we do the same like like with the gold i be adding put this, uh, this urea because we know that then no no <laughs> calcite nitric but let's say i add urea for a little bit and i don't see any bubbles coming so means nitric is gone so why sometimes i dissolving gold and i don't add a lot of urea because i know that there's no more nitric inside so now what we do add some this juice and try to participate precipitate with the aluminum this copper okay now i'll be putting little piece of aluminum and see what's happening supposed to copper come out from solution clean copper and zinc supposed to still stay in solution because of hydrochloric acid which one is inside which one don't let zinc or another useless metals precipitate precipitate so our copper supposed to come out from solution because it don't dissolves in uh, hydrochloric acid so see right now reaction i don't see nothing because it's dirty maybe add the water a little bit a little bit water maybe add it 100 milliliters of water a solution became looks like green because it was dark we didn't see nothing now got a green color so let Let's see what's happened with this aluminum. I add a little bit more aluminum right now and we'll see what's happening. You see, in the bottom I have a copper and the swimming copper too. It's a brass, no, the brass color or copper color. So solution getting lighter and zinc not coming out from solution because of one thing, there is a lot of hydrochloric acid still inside and that hydrochloric acid don't let zinc come out from solution so the same with the gold when you have a gold gold comes out from solution but all those tin zinc all those useless metals iron and everything is not coming from solution because of this that there is still hydrochloric acid but all copper is coming and coming first okay so that that way it's no problem use 
aluminum for gold recovery from solution because of one thing you see the copper copper color <laughs> and solution is already getting cleaner little bit yellow color and zinc is still in solution in order to recover this zinc i need to use magnesium but i don't have right now and uh, so we forget it so i wish you guys understand what i'm doing here i just want to show you how how i recovering gold and can you guys don't say me nothing about aluminum or something aluminum works very good and this is our sample what i showing you so use aluminum you will be happy okay you see copper copper color okay clean copper and in solution still we have this uh, zinc and if it's uh, no more how say it uh, <laughs> copper then starts coming out zinc because we're putting aluminum but because of that because they are very close to each other aluminum and zinc uh, zinc comes out very slowly if i have magnesium i be putting magnesium and right away becoming all zinc out okay i wish you guys understand what i want to explain and now looks like solution getting dark again you see that means we are already getting zinc out so in this case i need to take it out the solution and let them zinc come out Ooh, ooh. almost okay sorry my experiments see This is copper. See? And now aluminum precipitating zinc. Okay? And now everything became black. Zinc is black. So let's see. When the aluminum stop working anymore, we can filtrate solution okay and we're getting clean solution which one contains aluminum and zinc okay here left the copper and here we have copper okay so I'll take away solution and let's let's add hydrochloric acid it pretend that this is our goal, the same thing. When reaction stops, you collect everything, you put hydrochloric acid, put on the heat, and all useless metals be gone. And here you see, solution is clean, And take a filters, put in this hydrochloric acid, boil for a while, and you can smelt it. And when you smelt it, after that you can do refining, because that gold maybe still have something, microscopic pieces, so do refining. But normally, all the zinc and all useless metals is in this solution, clean. You see the water? <laughs> or oh, all gold or oh, right now in my case is the copper still be in the filter so then throw the filter in here and that's it that way you get gold 
easy way with any problems, okay? Keep in mind, you need to kill the nitric, use urea, okay? If you don't kill the nitric, <coughs> you see how easy to filtrate, and then you... Well, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is your gold, let's say. Pretend the gold is clean gold. You just smelt it, and you can use it for anything you want. Okay, let's put here. Okay, this is our copper from those bootle shells. I just tried to explain you guys how everything works. You see, here is our zinc and aluminum. Okay, if I use electricity, I can recover uh, that zinc. Okay, and this settles down and you can smelt everything. You get that. Let's say if the gold, you get the gold. If the copper right now, in my case, is copper, that is, means I get a clean copper. Oh, okay, thank you guys for watching. I wish you understand principle what I want to explain, how to get it. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be using this solution copper zinc we'll be using electricity to recover the same copper and we repeat everything just using electricity no aluminum no nothing be just electricity thanks for watching guys